Hello and welcome to my workshop. My name is Paul. I'm a luthier and bow maker based in Tasmania, Australia. In this series, I will share some of the projects I work on each week, giving you a glimpse over my shoulder as I work as though you were looking through the window into my workshop. I've been plugging away cleaning this violin for a good few hours now. Uh, the varnish is quite soft on it, so you've got to be really quite gentle. Um, I've been mainly just using uh, some warm water and a little bit of warm soapy water just to dab the, the, the dirt and grime off it and then using tissue to, you don't want to leave any water on it for very long. It's, it needs to be a, a damp, you know, really quite dry, damp cloth. Um, and then uh, just some very, very gentle, the gentlest polish that I've got to, to, to clean it. Um, I'll sort of show you the progress that we've made. So here's the violin as it's coming along. You can still sort of see there's areas of grime in here still. It's accentuated possibly by the shadow of the you can sort of see there the areas of where there's still dirt picks it up I think quite well try and do I had it better before so there you can just see right, just see just in here in this area and up here you can sort of see it's clean and then there's an area just here where it changes the light refracts differently from that patch so you can see where the cleaner areas on the instrument are and then you come down here And there's still an area here that's quite dirty. Um, there's sort of this area down to here is clean. There's, there's still dirt up through here. Um, and it's still quite dirty all up through here. Um, but this side of it is quite clean. It's a little bit perhaps still around this area. Um, and you can just see that the light just reflect, refracts differently off the dirty areas but it's also quite difficult to uh, get this area for instance clean without removing any of the original varnish you don't want to actually it's just a matter of trying to the, the varnish is really really soft um, as evidenced by the amount of wear where the plane has been on the instrument you know the, anywhere that the player has has come in contact with it, the, the varnish just rubs away really easily so um, proceeding very very slowly carefully trying to retain as much of the original varnish as well you don't want to remo remove any of it so um, I just started a little bit on in this area As you can see here the amount of dirt that's up and around here so there's still a lot of work to go on that's going to take me quite some time just to get it clean.
think so. Here we start uh, chewing up the fingerboard, ensuring we can keep uh, correct curvature. See there where it's missing where the hollows and dips in the fingerboard are.